Hi guys, Brain the Scary Lion, back from a little break. I kind of took some time off for myself, but yeah, we are back and we're going straight into our predictions for this Sunday's Hell in a Cell. Joined once again by Thomas. Let's get into it with the first match. And the first match that we're going to be talking about is Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella against The Miz and Maurice. Who have you got and why? I just really don't like a shit about this match. Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. Why? Oh, I don't know. They just. I feel like Daniel Bryan needs to start claiming again. Well, I'm going to go with the same Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. But my reasoning behind this is more the fact that. The Miz won the last match, so I feel like they win. They win this one. It ties the Miz and Daniel Bryan up, so we can get the final part basically. Unless they decide to continue it longer, but I feel like it'll be a winner takes all the next one. Uh, next match we're going to talk about is the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, which is the New Day against Rusev Day. We got one. Plain and simple, I'm taking Rusev Day on this one. I just feel like it's their time. Their time to annihilate and just build, like full on just build from there. Um, I have Rusev Day as well. Rusev Day as well. Uh, you know, seeing as they nearly broke up, mm. they need the tag team titles to like regroup again. And to solidify them as a tag team. And have like one as a manager. Hmm. So now we move on to the Raw Tag Team Championships, and this is Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre against Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Who have you got in this and why? I'm saying Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, because what I'm hoping for is pre-show Intercontinental Championship match, Kevin Owens against Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens takes the title off you, and then Seth and Dean Tag Team Champions. Have you got then? Uh, for me, I'm going to say that Dolph and Drew are going to retain. I just want to see a big future between them. I kind of want to see them push on and just be unstoppable for a while. Because they're both amazing superstars and they deserve this spot. They deserve to be where they are. Like, the Shield are always going to be top. Like, no matter what you do, the Shield are always going to be at the top. But for Dolph and Drew to have this spot right now, it's it's incredible, and I just want to see him continue with it. No one expected it. It just came out of nowhere. We should state at this time that we don't know which matches are being put on pre-show. Sure. No, we don't. Um, I'm just hoping for that. For the next match, we've got the SmackDown Women's Championship match, which should be Hell in a Cell, but isn't. It's just a normal singles match. It's Charlotte Flair... Defending the title against Becky Lynch, who have you got Brandon White? Uh, starting out with going off what you are saying, this <clears> match 100% <throat> should have been a, in a hell in a cell. Yeah. It, it just feels like they haven't put that much, like, they haven't really put as much into this as they should have been. Like, you can see it, Becky has full on snapped. Nah. And I absolutely love it. So this match should have been inside Hell in a Cell with Becky just unleashing full-on brutality. But unfortunately it's not, but I am still going to stick with Becky on this. Uh, the fans love this. The fans love heel Becky. You can hear it every time she comes out. Uh, yeah, heel Becky taking the title 100% in my opinion. I'm going to say Charlotte. Charlotte. We'll have this rivalry go on for a bit longer and then at Evolution she takes us that will get the best part. So next match that we've got is the Raw Women's Championship match and this is Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey. Who have you got and why? Ronda Rousey. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. obvious. Oh, it's the voice is good, but Ronda Rousey's winning. Yeah. She's keeping the championship for quite a while. Uh, we were actually talking about this the other day. Uh, I, I do think Alexa Bliss was the perfect person to put up against Ronda in this, literally because of the back and forth they can have. No. But I do want this to end because, unfortunately, you know for a fact that Ronda Rousey is just going to run riot all over Alexa Bliss, and it does kind of take away from Alexa Bliss a lot. So I hope this ends quickly. Uh, next match we're going to talk about is Jeff Hardy 
against Radio and in the cell, this will be contender for match of the night. Yeah. It should. This should, this should be an incredible match. Who have you got, Ben Bray? Oh, th- this is a hard one to pick from because on the one hand you've got Jeff Hardy. He's the high flyer. He's the risk taker. Like he's so unpredictable. You never know what he's going to put on the line during a match. Uh, and the way they built this, it's so personal. But on the other hand, you've got Randy Orton who has gone back to being pure sadistic. I mean, that whole stuff, like, he pulled, he went into where he's got his ear stretched and just started pulling. Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't know which way to pull this. Who have you got in there? I think I'll have to go with Jeff. You're going with Jeff in this? I'm just hoping to see us one on after, after the sound. Yeah, that would be incredible. Literally, for the sake of competition, I'm going to go with Randy Orton. But either man could win this. I just, I don't know. I am pulling more towards Randy because I just feel like he's going to be more sadistic. But yeah, it's it's going to be a close call this match. But you have seen that where Jeff Hardy can have a sadistic side. Yeah, of course. Next we have AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship. Who have you got and why? Um, can I first please say... Um, Stop with the Wendy style, please. Nah, I love it. Wendy oh, styles. Wendy! I, abso- I absolutely love it. It's twisted and ridiculous at the same time. Like, he's going after the guy's family, but you can't help but kind of laugh at it as well. Well, I've got to join this one. Mm. Time for Agent to watch the tight one for about to drop it to then. Samoa Joe. I, I do want to say that I love Samoa Joe and I feel like he is going to be a perfect champion. Yeah. But I'm saying AJ Styles. No, I, I'm going to keep saying it. AJ Styles is going to retain after retaining after retaining after retaining and it's just going to push on for a long time. I mean, let, let's be honest with the, with the two titles. The WWE title is so much more prestigious than the Universal Championship. And I feel like having AJ Styles conquering time after time just adds even more prestige to the title. Last but certainly not least, um, Mm. we have got Roman Reigns uh, defending the championship against Braun Strowman in the cell with Mick Foley as a special guest rep. Who do you think is going to win, Brian? Again, this one's a difficult one to call, but... I just think it's Braun Strowman's time. I think we've waited long enough for Braun Strowman to become champion now. It, there's been chance after chance after chance. And yeah, he, he's the monster among men. Give him the title, make him unstoppable. That If you want to solidify him as like the unstoppable monster, give him the championship. I reckon we're going to see a uh, heel mix. Mm-hmm. Mick Foley like turning on Roman mm-hmm. and then you know the big dog you know um, he's got a bill for it all and keep on Roman and hang on to the championship for a while and then all, of the, all members of the Shield in my opinion sh- should have titles you ready for this? I'm going to give you the biggest twist of the night. Braun Strowman is going to announce himself as a Paul Heyman guy. There's rumours that Paul Heyman is building his own little stable again. I just feel like Braun Strowman is the perfect person to recruit. Uh, Same with Kevin Owens because, you know, Kevin Owens is rumoured to be working with uh, Paul Heyman. Yeah, there's a lot of people who... You just put them under Paul Heyman's wing and they're just going to fly. Paul Heyman, hands down, is one of the best managers. Of course, there's going to be a couple more matches that will be on the pre-show. We don't know if any of these will be on the pre-show. But I guarantee there's more matches than what we've gone through. I reckon number one contenders match for the uh, Raw Tag Team titles. B-Team against Revival Mm. on the pre-show. But there you go, there's our predictions for Hell in a Cell. Of course, there's going to be a forfeit. That's going to be decided on a later day. Smith of Lionel was sadly. <laughs> Let's just hope Hell in a Cell is a great pay-per-view. It's built up to be pretty yeah. decent, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, anything else you'd like to add before I wrap this up? No, I'll say what I need to say. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy... 
leave it a like. Comment down below what you feel is going to be the match of the night here for you. Uh, Jeff and Randy. Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy Jeff and Randy Orton. Orton. For me, uh, match of the night, I'm, I'm going to have to give it to Seth and Dean against Dolph and Drew. I just feel like that could possibly be match of the night. But yeah, let us know your answers down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, we'll catch you guys.